Hello friends, today we will learn few important muscles of scapular region which will form rotator cuff. These muscles are also known as scapulohumeral muscles. To draw this, we need an anterior view and a posterior view of scapula and humerus. Posterior view in the diagram, it is shown by drawing spine of scapula and anterior view, it is shown in the diagram by drawing lesser tubercle of humerus. In the posterior view, we will next show the greater tubercle and three impressions of the greater tubercle. These are upper, middle and lower impressions. Now in the posterior view, we will draw supraspinatus muscle in the supraspinous fossa and its insertion on the upper impression of the greater tubercle of humerus. Next, we will draw infraspinatus muscle in the infraspinous fossa and we will show its insertion on the middle impression of greater tubercle. We will draw teres minor on the dorsal aspect of the lateral border of the scapula and its insertion on the lower most impression of the greater tubercle of humerus. Now we will show subscapularis muscle arising from the subscapular fossa in the anterior view and we will show its insertion on lesser tubercle of the humerus. Subscapularis is a multipinnate muscle. These muscles supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor and subscapularis they form a rotator cuff or is also known as musculotendinous cuff of shoulder joint. This rotator cuff it supports the shoulder joint all over except inferiorly. Now we will learn and understand how to draw rotator cuff. For this we need to draw the posterior view of the capsule of shoulder joint. In this posterior view, we will draw three muscles, supraspinatus, infraspinatus and teres minor merging with the capsule. we will draw the standard diagram that is usually drawn by the students in the exam. This is a sagittal section passing through the shoulder joint. We will start with pyriform shaped glenoid cavity. We will draw glenoid labrum around it. Next, we will show capsule of the shoulder joint. Remember to draw the capsule loose on the inferior aspect. Now draw supraspinatus muscle superiorly, infraspinatus and teres minor muscle posteriorly and subscapularis muscle anteriorly. Once again it is time to note that the rotator cuff muscles these are supporting the shoulder joint capsule or strengthening the shoulder joint capsule all over except inferiorly that is why inferior dislocations of shoulder joint are more common thank you for more such videos 
subscribe my youtube channel easy anatomy for ug and don't forget to share link of this video with your friends